English 011 Listening, Unit 3, Life Sciences. Unit 3, Life Sciences, Objectives. By the end of Unit 3, you will be able to identify the main ideas from a tour guide talk about the Eden Project, tell the aims of the Eden Project, recognize outdoor landscapes, warm temperate biomes, and humid tropic biomes, and different categories of plants in the Eden Project. Unit 3 Listening Track A tour guide talks about the Eden Project. To listen to this track, please click on the link that I am highlighting right now. You are going to listen to a tour guide talk about the Eden Pro... <clears throat> you are going to listen to a tour guide talk about the Eden Project. Click on this link or an audio file attached above. After listening, mark the one statement that is false. Write your answer in the following discussion forum. Let's listen together. Hello everyone. I know many of you have come from far away to visit us here in Cornwall in England. So, welcome to the Eden Project. To begin, let me give you a bit of background on the project. Our aim is to take horticulture, the science of growing fruits, plants and flowers, and blend it with art, science and education. We also work to find a balance between growing plants for our needs and conserving land worldwide. Overall, our aim is education and uh, not just for people already interested in plants and horticulture. We want to make plant-based issues interesting to the ordinary person. We have 100,000 different plants here and 5,000 different species of plant. Oh, wow. Oh, I had no really? idea. That's amazing. Wow. Really, that's amazing. <laughs> Yes, it is. Oh, I forgot to mention, feel free to ask questions at any time. Okay, you can see that we have some amazing gardens to walk around in. Three different areas, in fact, including the two biomes. The biomes are the clear domes that you see from here. We'll talk about the different areas, and then you can explore on your own. Uh, if you move closer to the map, you'll be able to see better. As you can see, we have three different areas with different kinds of plants in each area. One is the outdoor landscape, another is the warm temperate biome, and then the third is the humid tropics biome. Each biome has different sections with different types or categories of plants, whether it be plants for food, plants for use in making fiber, uh, clothes and things like that, and so on. There will be signs giving you information on each section. Let's talk about the outdoor landscape first. This has the natural landscapes and plants of temperate regions. This is like our region of Cornwall, like where we are now, and uh, really most of Britain, as well as parts of Russia and parts of North and South America. This landscape will continue to, to change over time, and, of course, the plants here change with the seasons, too. Oh, it's quite a long walk down to the end of this section, but there is a train that runs from here at the visitor center. Any questions? Okay, uh, let's go on to the warm temperate biome. You can see it here on the map. Think of the regions of the Mediterranean for this one, as well as parts of uh, South Africa, Australia and some of California in the United States. Plants in these regions have to live in difficult conditions, very dry and usually the soil isn't very good. So would these plants include things like olive trees and citrus fruits? Yes, exactly. Okay, uh, let's talk about the second biome. This is the humid tropics biome. Think of tropical regions such as West Africa, Malaysia and tropical South America. It's actually the largest biome in the world and has over 1,000 plant species in it. And of course the temperatures are pretty warm in there, so bear that in mind. Can I ask how or where you got all these different plants? Yes, that's a good question. First of all, they weren't taken from the wild and most of them are not rare. Many were grown from seed in our nursery here and others came from botanic gardens or research centers around the world. Also, we consulted with people from the different regions represented here when we got plants. Okay, 
that's all. Thanks for coming and enjoy exploring the Eden Project. I'll be around for a few minutes if there are any more questions. Thank okay. you. Thanks so much. That's great. Really great. Okay, now let's mark the one statement that is false, but I'll go through each question with you. Number one, the Eden Project has gardens and educated people about horticulture. That's true. Number two, there are four different landscape and garden areas. That is false. Number three, the plants were not taken from the wild. That is true. Now, listen to the talk again, a tour guide talk. Choose the correct answer to complete each statement. Make sure to pause your screen. Number one, the tour guide says the Eden Project wants to make issues related to plants A. Interesting to anyone. Number two, the Eden Project has B. A hundred thousand different plants. Number three, the Eden Project has B. Two different biomes. Number four, the different areas of the Eden Project are A. An outdoor landscape a temperate biome and tropical biomes. Number five, each section has B, different types of plants used for food, clothing, and other things. Number six, the outdoor landscape area has plants from B, Britain, Russia, and parts of North and South America. Number seven, the warm temperate biome has plants that live in places where A, it's dry and the soil isn't good. Number eight, the human tropics biome, B, is the largest in the world. Listen to the talk again by clicking on the following link. List the different areas and plants of the eating project by writing a blog.